Hi guys, as you can see, we're just about to start miscoating. So we're now at a position where we've obviously got to start mixing up a miscoat. We've, we've got the paint. What we've got here is we've got two elements, okay? One that is straight out of the tub, no water, and the other one that's been thinned. This one here, okay, is probably the right consistency if we were using a roller, if. To be fair, we haven't used a roller for miscoating for probably over 10 years, all right? We just, we, we don't, there's no reason. We found the benefit. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna start mixing up the paint. The difference between consistency of one for brush and roll and one for spray. A lot of people when they start spraying are always focused on the fact that they use more paint. Okay, I get it, all right? And we'll show you why for us it's not really important. You know, the labor ratio against material ratio, we'll go through that. But let's, let's talk about this, okay? So what I'm gonna do is we've got obviously the one on my left, probably your right, is the product without any water at the moment. The one on the other side, okay, has water that is gonna be the right consistency if we were gonna use a brush and roller. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back and add more water to the one, this one, to show you what consistency we would have, obviously for spraying. So I wanna ask you guys, how much water do you think we can put in here? This one here that we started is probably go about 15, maybe 20% water, okay? Uh, which is just about right. So the consistency for this one, as you can see, um, this is straight out of the bucket, okay? We're not added any water. Granted, this is gonna be different for you guys, depending on what product you use. Uh, also, how much water you add for your mist coating is entirely up to you. The consistency that we've got here, okay? This is nice. Any thinner, it would just fall off the roller, okay? So we could mist coat with that, not a problem. How much water have I added into that? Probably about 20%. Uh, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna carry on adding more water for the consistency that I want to obviously start spraying. The difference is when we spray, um, we have no contact. Like we have no, no force pushing the roller, the brush or anything. Once we actually pull the trigger, hits the surface, it stays done. So for Miss Cut, how much water am I gonna have to put in this if I'm spraying it? Let's have a look. Right, so we've gone from this to this. Depending on which product you use, we find on average between 50 and 60% water for our miscut.